right, we're breaking down natural ways to reverse hair loss and regrow your hair. We know we all care about our hair. Here's what we're gonna do today. This is an essential oil scalp massage. Now we've got research that actually shows using a blend of essential oils, specifically rosemary and peppermint in a carrier oil, and doing that consistently for a couple of months helps to reverse hair loss and regrow hair almost with the same results as Rogaine. How amazing is that? Rogaine has a lot of side effects. It drops blood pressure. Some of you don't tolerate it. I know I couldn't tolerate it either. So this is an alternative that actually works. Now I want you guys to keep this in mind too though. Remember that the hair follicle, right? All these little follicles in here is on a 60 day cycle. So when we're trying to reverse hair loss, no matter what you're doing, no matter what treatment you're doing, you're not gonna magically see new hair within a day or two, right? It's gonna take a solid three to four months to see regrowth, but keep at it. Don't get discouraged, don't give up because really within about three to four months, you have brand new hair follicles and you'll see new growth and it is the most exciting thing to see in practice. All right, why don't you guys do this with me? So we're gonna take our oils, right? Oh, you can either use a blend of rosemary and peppermint or a single oil. Oil. and I like to start in the center of the crown okay so that's right here right usually where you guys part your part your hair but start right here in the center and go ahead and drop about three to five drops right in the center of the crown don't forget I post new videos every Thursday hit subscribe and then use your fingertips to really massage that in. Maybe take about a minute or two in this particular area before we move on. Once you get through the crown, start spreading out in almost like a clockwise fashion so that you're really hitting other areas in the crown. So I'm, here's my center point and then I'm moving out, moving back in, moving out, and then just sort of massaging around the scalp. I would stay here for about three to five minutes if you can and just kind of keep gradually massaging the scalp, adding more oil in if it feels like it's getting too dry. Remember, this is the area where often your thyroid, if that's the issue, that's why you're losing hair through here. Moving on from there, let's move to the side of the scalp, and it doesn't matter whether you start with the right or the left, we're gonna do the same thing, about three to five drops, kind of dropping it in here. And again, taking a minute to massage it in the center, and then moving your hands out in sort of that clockwise fashion and massaging through here for another three minutes or so. So you can kind of stay here and really getting it in. How are you feeling? Sleepy? <laughs> Anyhow, so massaging it in right through here as well. Let's just move and rotate through the scalp. We're gonna come back to this occipital area, to this back area of the scalp. Again, a couple of steps. So crown to side to back. Now we're here in the back. This is our third step. Really getting that in here again in the center, working our way out. If you can, coming even down into the neck, because remember, the blood vessels of the neck feed the scalp, and that's how we want to get the blood flow up. And once you're finished there, let's move on over to the final side. Just got great hair over here, but we want to get into the scalp. That's really where our issues are. And again, dabbing some of this in here. Massaging in the middle, working your way out. That way we cover the entire scalp in about four steps. And if you'd like to spend more time on it, absolutely do so. But if you're in a rush or a hurry, I think accomplishing those four key steps, taking about three minutes for each portion of the scalp will help to see results.